Today we're talking about the best schools in Tampa Bay. Hi everybody, I'm Lisa Carroll. I'm a local realtor here for 30 years this year in the Tampa Bay area and our team specializes in helping people that are interested in moving to our beautiful city. And today we're talking about something we're asked a lot, which is what are the best schools in the Tampa Bay area? And today we're gonna to focus on the top three high schools. This is not just our opinion, but also due to different ratings and rankings within the state and our local area. So number one has always been Plant High. And Plant has been ranked number one for as long as I can remember. And I've been here, went to high school here myself, and you know, basically have been here for a long, long time, since the 80s. And um, Plant High School is located in the South Tampa area, and it does have the best ranking in the state as far as our local schools go. And it is currently ranked 39th in the state, and it does have about 2,400 students. They have great extracurricular programs, athletics, and all kinds of things. Actually, all three of the top ranked schools do. To live in the Plant High School District would probably be one of the more expensive areas to live in of the three that we're gonna talk about today. And that's because South Tampa just is just a little more expensive. It's closer to all the different things you wanna do in Tampa, like see a lightning game, go to the Bucks game, go to Hyde Park for dinner, you know, be over there on Bay Shore. It's also convenient to anything in the whole Tri-County area because it's centrally located. So. Living in that area, you would be looking at, you know, condos or townhomes probably from about 500,000 up and single family homes from 650,000 on up. So that's a great, great school and a very, very great um, location to live. Secondly on the list is Steinbrenner High. Steinbrenner is located up in the northwestern part of the county of Hillsborough County and it's in a t little town called Lutz. A lot of people call it Lutz, but it's called Lutz. And Steinbrenner is a newer high school. It's just a tiny bit larger, also ranked very high in the state, just like number 41. So it's right behind Plant and it offers great AP programs as well. They all do. And it's got newer subdivisions around it. So in the Steinbrenner district, you can find homes that are a little newer, not quite as expensive as South Tampa. You can find homes now starting from probably about 400 on up. And it also offers great extracurricular programs and um, they all have AP and great graduation rates and a large percentage of the population of the school does participate in the advanced placement programs. Third on the list is Newsom High. Newsom High is located in Lithia and Lithia is located inland. So it's closer to South Tampa. So a lot of commuters will commute from Lithia into the downtown or South Tampa area. It's a little more rural and um, Lithia boasts neighborhoods that are newer as well. One of the biggest neighborhoods there would be Fishhawk Ranch, which offers a wide range of homes, pricing, you know, starting in the same range as the uh, Cheval and other areas near Steinbrenner, where you could start at about 400 and go on up. And any size home you really want, you can find. Those homes will be newer homes as well. The Newsom High also is ranked like 49th in the state, just a little bit of a larger population than the other two, but again, 78% participation in the um, AP program and just great extracurricular athletics. Everything is great with all, all three. So that gives you three different options of some of the top ranked schools in our areas. If you're looking for a great high school to grow into as a family, it also offers great resale for you because these schools have been ranked high consistently for many, many years. So we don't see that changing of course, we can't see the future, wish we could, right? Sometimes, um, but they are great locations to, to, to choose if you are considering buying into a good school district. I hope you found this information helpful and you will subscribe to our channel because we're gonna be bringing you a lot of great content this coming year. And um, we have a few more videos that will be coming soon about schools. Um, some of special needs schools, special education is my background. I was a teacher and graduated from USF, go Bulls. Um, and I did teach at Gaither High School and at Lavoie Exceptional Center and at Hammond Elementary, all in the special education field. 
right out of college. And then for a little bit during when the market crashed, I did go back to teach for a little bit, which um, was great for me because I do love teaching. But anyway, if you have any questions about schools in our area, please reach out to us. We're always here to answer your questions about that or anything real estate related or anything related to our area. That's what we're here for and that's what we wanna do. You can find our number below or on the screen. Please don't hesitate to call, text, reach out anytime. Hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to our channel, ring the little bell, so you'll be notified of future videos. Give us a thumbs up. If you didn't know before, now you know more.